Hi everyone, I am Manil Kumar, motivational speaker. Today, I would like to speak about how to write your LLB examinations and how to manage your three hours of time and how to write your case class, how to solve your problem and what is the methodology we need to follow. I am going to talk about. Firstly, we have studied so much things. How to write in the examinations? That only it's a matter. In this video, I am going to tell the methodology how to write it and how to manage your time, three hours of time. Time is precious. Time is very very important. Each minute is important in the examinations. I know very well. I had faced so many uh, semesters. So time is very precious. We have to value for the time especially in the examination. So how to manage our time? First of all, once evaluators been issued the paper means question paper minimum at least three minutes we have to watch the question paper two or three if you would like to see only one minute that is fine if you would like to see two minutes that is also fine if you would like to see three minutes that is also very fine we have to see the questions properly you have to read the questions properly please understand your questions then after what you have to do is which one is no very well that you have to prefer firstly my advice is to please prefer 10 marks question first among 10 marks questions which one you know very best that you prefer in the first question you write your question number and start your writing one question 10 marks question that should not more than 22 minutes you have to write 22 minutes not more than that if you write more than that 22 minutes you will lose your marks and as well you cannot complete your examinations you may left one or two questions in the last so that is how my advice is to please take only 22 minutes for 10 marks question in the 10 marks question what you have to read write and how many pages we have to write how much quality you have to write and what are all the methodologies you have to follow to score your LLB examinations and how to pass in the first attempt if you write the methodology is very important for all students again and again I am stressing again and again I am making video on how to score and how to write your LLB examinations so this is very important that our LLB students always keep in their mind all methodology which I followed if you follow this methodology definitely will get pass and even you can score very good marks in LLB. My intention is to you have to score excellent grade or outstanding grade by that is my intention only pass I am not talking about we have to score very good marks like outstanding grade and excellent grade. So 22 within 22 minutes what all to be right within 22 minutes how many points we can write how many case laws we have to write and what are the examples we can write that I am going to explain first of all if you prefer one any kind of question you have to write introduction three to four lines not more than that then after you have to write one definition if you know very well if you at least if you don't know definition you can write your own way but that fact should be there for the definition 
you have to understand that is how i am always telling please understand question properly if you understand in different way you have written some other answers definitely you will lose your marks so that is that is what i am always stressing please understand the question first then after you have to write it introduction you have written then after you have to write one definition then after you have to write section or subsection if it is article required please mention article also so you have to write like that then after you have to make some points like you know if it is 10 marks question you make 10 key points so how sometimes the question does not have many points in that time what you have to do sometimes they may only four points they may only five points valid points you have to write valid points five but two to three lines we have we are explaining for 10 uh, key points if five key points we have to explain double of that means two to three lines we have explained in each point if it is only five key points we have to explain five lines so like that we have to write it then after if it is required case class we have to write mandatorily we have to write most of the law subjects carries case class some of the subjects like jurisprudence some of the like administrative law some of the questions they may not have the case class in that time what you have to do you can give some examples or illustrations apart from case law we can write like illustrations you can write it two illustrations are two case laws if you write two case laws illustration is not required because we have a sufficient we don't have sufficient time to write because only we have three hours of time within three hours of time we have to complete all the questions so that is the reason if two case laws you write case laws how to write case laws that is very important case law some people are there they will write one page one case law or one page one case law they will write two pages that don't required one case law half page is enough and two case law within a page you have to complete it the two case laws that is very sufficient while writing your examination then after you have to give one conclusion conclusion carries only three to four lines that is enough that questions will be end within 22 minutes because i have written i was always seeing my time within 22 minutes i was able to complete one question 10 marks question like that we have to write all 10 marks questions five questions you have to complete it 22 if you plan like this within uh, five, five questions within you can able to one hour 50 minutes you can able to complete it surely we can complete it within one hour 50, 50 minutes we can able to complete five questions of 10 marks so this is how it is if you would like to problem solving how to solve the problem in the question that is very important that also not more than one page any problems will be there we have to write little introduction then after you have to write what uh, section or subsection what point to be covered for that particular problem then after you have to write whether it is yes or not like that we have to close it and few two to three lines we have to give conclusion for that problem solving this is how it is we have to write like this then i will come for six marks question how to write six marks question before that how many pages we have to write that is very important because 10 marks question we have to write quality with quantity means quantity in the sense 
for within 22 minutes how many pages you can able to write that we have to write some people are there they may write only 3 pages some students are there they may write 4 pages some people, some students are there they may write 5 pages according to your convenience please write we don't mind how many pages that but minimum 3 pages is for 10 marks it is required within 3 pages you have to write introduction you have to write one definition you have to write section sub sections then you have to write key points 10 key points you have to elaborate two to three lines your page key points then after two case laws you have to write then after conclusion three to four lines is mandatory to write within three pages you can able to write complete it but some students have the have their good skill in writing for them they can write easily four pages so this is how 10 marks question then we'll come for six marks question six marks question how to write it same introduction three to four lines then after if you if you know definition you have to write one definition then after keep sub section sub section if you know sub section sub section sub section sub section if you write if we have to write we are last students we should know what is sub section and sub section and where the section sub section are belongs to we should know last students then that is why we have to write mandatorily section and sub section of each key points so this is and uh, after section sub sections we have to write six marks question six key points if some questions they don't have key points much key points only three to four key points two to three key points will be there in that time you have to little bit elaborately we have to write it then after you have to write one case law if case law not belongs to that question you can write one example of that question then after you have to complete conclusion conclusion as i said three to four lines conclusion is sufficient so within one and a half page we can able to complete these points of for six marks question so we have written like this we have got good marks like that if you plan to do if you plan to write like this you can score very good marks in the karnataka state law university hubli so i have explained about 10 marks questions and 6 marks questions like that after completion of your 10 marks you have to write 5 6 marks questions like that within 10 minutes we have to complete it within 10 minutes 10 minutes 5 questions means you can able to complete it within 1 hour after that you will left a time of 5 to 10 minutes in that 5 to 10 minutes what you have to do is you have to take pen means ball pen uh, whether it could be blue or black if you have written in the black pen you have to take black pen if you have written in the blue pen you take blue pen make a underline of each questions introduction you make underline then after definition for definition you make underline then after section sub section you make one underline then after key point there will be key points 10 key points 6 key points like that each key points you have to take make underline one underline underline federalism you make underline consistency you make one underline like that you make underline for all key points then after case laws case laws like keshavanandi keshavananda bharati versus state of kerala you make one underline for that case that's it inside don't underline only the topic means the case law which belongs to that you make underline then after one conclusion will be there for that you make one underline so that all first question you have been completed take a scale and you complete it with that question means so if you make like this for evaluators it's very easy to evaluate your answers you will see just like that if you mark no you will see the key points and case class what you have written 
and section subsection what we have written and introduction you will see and conclusion you will see while seeing itself you will get or she will get impression for your answers that is you have to create it first impression is best impression you have to create writing presentation is very important i am always preferring how to write how to write methodology of writing it's very very important in your examinations so if you follow like this definitely you can able to score very very good marks many of the student they know very well but they couldn't able to manage their time they don't know how to write what is the methodology to write in the examination definitely they don't know so that is why in this video i am giving awareness for all our kslu students including final semesters students also i am giving awareness how to write your llb examinations within 3 hours of time how to manage your time again and again stressing and i am giving awareness why because every one has to get pass because i know very well many of the students are struggling like anything to get pass many of the students have been disqualified every day i i used to receive 10 to 15 calls saying that how to write how to how to write your notes how to manage the time i used to get call every day 10 to 15 calls they are crying like anything students are crying like anything so that is how my experience sharing this is how i have planned it and i have written very well in the examinations so like that you have to please follow these methods definitely you can score very good marks in llb you can if you would like to give any comments please give a comment on my youtube channel so that i can give again i i can come back to you again with another videos i hope my all videos are very very helpful to to get benefit of kslu especially our kslu students please do subscribe my channel anil kumar kt so that you will get very good videos in future also like this so please do forward my videos as many as possible for your students so that they will also get benefit thank you